Well, hello, wherever you are watching on in the world as we resume our coverage of the Giro d'Italia, the 99th edition of the race, and we are back on home soil, if you like, for the race, back in the very south of Italy, in Calabria, for what promises to be a fascinating race, all the way up the Tyrrhenian coast, 200 kilometers in total, from Catanzaro to Praia Amare. Here's a man who uh, has got a job on his hands today, Marcel Kittel in the pink jersey. How he'd love to uh, carry it into tomorrow, if it were at all possible. Turns 28 years old, does Marcel Kittel tomorrow. He's pretty isolated, is the uh, Maglia Rosa now, and these are testing times indeed. It's not as if it's exploded on the uh, climb here, but it's a tightening of the screw, and it does the damage initially to those riders like Marcel Kittel. It might just be enough now to lose him. Well, Marcel Kittel has been dropped. He's brought back a little bit of time, though, being paced back on. Some of the other riders who uh, were dropped with him will be looking to help him. Yeah. That was a surprise move. Movistar's Rory Sutherland just pulled over to the right-hand side of the road and looked completely uh, nonplussed by the sight of the two AG2R Le Mondial riders shooting off the front, and it looked thoroughly premeditated. Mm. This pairing of AG2R Le Mondial riders is being brought back. They're going to be reintegrated into this chase group, which will be 15, 17 riders strong. And that is a powerful size of group if they do start working together. Well, you can see now nobody wants to use up that last bit of energy before they hit the climb. They all know what's coming up ahead of them now. That there's some very severe gradients that are going to greet them in just a few moments' time. There is uh, the form of Diego Ulissi, and he leads the race, and he leads them over this final uncategorized climb. Is he going to get there to the top on his own? He is. It's an attack from Etix. Quick step there, the next team to go, and they go again. And this time it's Gianluca Prambilla. So two Italians now battling this one out, and his legs surely will be feeling this effort. As the gap goes out now to 11 seconds, it's right in the balance. So Dumula could be riding himself into the Maglia Rosa when we've done our calculations. He might even get a stage win just yet, but there's only 150 meters to go for Diego Ulissi. And even though Dumula is chasing hard and bringing Christ fight with him, I think it's going to be enough. It certainly is now. Just 75 meters. Now he risks a look. Now he can throw his arms in delight. Dumoulin will take second place and Kreisweig in third. And there's a sprint one by Alejandro Valverde, I think, for fourth place. The Movistar man crossing the line, but no one could get to him. What a win. His fifth on the Giro d'Italia. A great individual ride. What a result for the team from Italy, too. Powerful ride, though, too, for Tom Dumoulin who did finish in second place at five seconds in a two-man group with Steven Kreisweig. He'll take uh, six bonus seconds as well, Tom Dumoulin. Those are the provisional overall standings. And Tom Dumoulin, the man he took the pink jersey from, is back in pink.